Comparing Numbers, Lesson 3.13 We can compare numbers to find which is larger or greater than the other. We can also compare them to find which is smaller or less than the other. First, we compare the tens. The number with more tens is the greater number. If the tens are the same, we compare the ones. Then, the number with more ones is the greater number. We use this symbol for greater than. It's open and it's facing to the left. We use this symbol for less than. The big open side faces the bigger number. Now I have a trick for you to remember that. We can think of the signs as a big mouth and the big mouth eats the big number. We have a one and we have a two. The big mouth eats the big number, see? One is less than two and it faces the bigger number. Now we have a three and a two. Now the two is not the bigger number anymore. Three is bigger. Three is greater than two. Here we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, and we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 33 is less than 35. They have the same amount of tens, but there's only three in the ones place, and that has five in the ones place. So this 33 is less than that 35. We use this symbol, less than, 33 is less than 35. And you can remember that this is the less than symbol because it kind of looks like an L for less than, doesn't it? Like it's a little crooked, see that? It kind of looks like an L. If it was going the other way, it wouldn't be an L. Okay? So, I want you to remember that this is an equal sign and it means is equal to. This is greater than, this is less than, and it looks like an L almost, so you know that's the less than, okay? We can compare numbers. We have an 18 and a 13. They have the same number of tens. 18 has one ten and 13 has one ten. So which is greater? Well, we have to look at the ones place. This has eight ones and that only has three ones. So 18 is greater than 13. Here we have 45 and 41. They both have four tens, but this has five ones and that only has one one. So this is greater. 45 is greater than 41. Here we have 52 and 54. They both have the same number of tens. They both have five tens. But this has two ones, and this has four ones. Big mouth eats big number. 52 is less than 54. Now we have 23 and 23. Well, that's the same number. And equal to means that they are the same. They are equal to each other. Here we have 60 and 67. They both have the same number of tens. They both have six tens, but this has zero ones and that has seven ones. So 60 is less than 67. Here we have 86 and 86. It's the same number. That means they're equal, right? We can write a number that makes each sentence true. We could pick any number we want as long as it makes it true. Some number is greater than 44. So we can pick any number we want that is bigger, greater than 44, even 45. That's got one more one, doesn't it? That's greater than 44. Some number is less than 37. Well, if it's got three tens, it would have to have less than seven ones in order for it to be less, or it could have less tens. 
We could do 27, couldn't we? That's only got two tens, and that's got three tens. 27 is less than 37. Some number is greater than 23. If it has two tens, it's got to have more than three ones. Or it could have more tens, and that would be greater. We could do 24, couldn't we? That's greater than 23. That's one more than 23. 19 equals some number. Well, if it equals it, that means it's the same, so it must be 19. 19 equals 19. 90 is less than some number. We need to think of a number that 90 is less than. It has to be more than 90. See, because the big mouth has to face the big number. We could choose 95. That's larger than 90, isn't it? So 90 is less than 95. That's true. Some number is less than 36. If it has three tens, it must have less than six ones then. We could do three tens and five ones. That's less than 36, right? Because it's got one less one, see? So we can remember when to write greater than or less than because the big mouth eats the big number. Five is over here and seven is over here and the big mouth is going to eat the bigger number. See, five is less than seven. Now the five is on this side and a four is on this side and the five is now the bigger number. So five is greater than four. All right, so just remember, you can remember which sign is which. This is a less than sign because it almost looks like it's spelling L-E-S-S. -S. See that? Because we can kind of turn our head sideways and look kind of looks a little bit like an L, okay? So that's less than, and when the big side is facing the left, that's greater than, okay? All right, so that's comparing numbers. I hope this makes sense to you, and I hope you're doing all right. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.